Hey guys and welcome back to a new tutorial video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So the FBOmatic plugin came a long way since it was created. It had many updates because Facebook also changed its policy and API over and over again and I felt like that I need to redo its full tutorial video and here it is. So let's go and check how to install and configure the FBOmatic plugin in 2021 and onward. So let us get started and here I have a test site where I will be starting installing the plugin. So for this go to plugins add new click upload plugin choose file and this is the zip file i downloaded from code canyon this don't forget that this also contains the documentation of the plugin so please extract this locally to your computer and in the in the folder you will find this package folder and here you will find documentation licensing and the installable zip file so please install this zip file on your wordpress site okay so after the installation is complete activate the plugin now let's go ahead and go to plugin settings here you will see that you will need to enter your Facebook app ID app secret. So this is required for the plugin to work because if you want to import content from Facebook or you want to automatically post content to your Facebook page, you will see that the app ID and secret are required, both required. So to get this, you will need to create a Facebook app. So click here after you hover on this question mark, click here and you will be able to uh, authenticate, log in to your Facebook developers portal. And if you have after you created your developers account, you will be able to click here on my apps. And here you will need to create a new app. So let me go ahead and create a new app together with you. After this page is loaded, let's click Create App. Now, after this, we should select Manage Business Integration, Continue. Let's set a name for the app. Okay select yourself or your own business you should uh, select your company here if you have one or leave this at no business manager account selected and create app after this solve the capture here and if you have to select the bridges from images go ahead and select the bridges and click submit okay now we will have our facebook app created and here it is to get the app uh, credentials click settings basic copy the id go into plugin settings and paste the id here and show the secret and copy it and paste it here now click save app info and you basically configure the basic part of the plugin now we will be able to go in and use facebook to post so this is the menu where you will be able to import content from facebook to your wordpress site so if you want to import content from facebook pages or groups you will be able to get, uh, make it work here so for example let's say i want to import content from a facebook group from my facebook page for example this is the most straightforward example let me go ahead and load my page here so 
it seems that the new Facebook interface is notorious for its slow loading uh, speed but yeah we have to work with this so this is my page these are the posts that I created and these will be one, the ones that I will be importing into the plugin so let's check my WordPress site it should be empty right now and to get started with importing paste the URL of your Facebook page here select the type of the Facebook content as page select how many posts you wish to import let's see uh, for example free posts and here you will have some advanced settings which I will be going through after I go and uh, import some test posts from this page now if you have an older app which has also enabled the page public access then you will be able to run the plugin like it is right now and it will be able to get content for you however if you have a new app like I have currently you have two options right now in this moment of uh, time so you might have to get page public access for your app this is a privilege that needs to be reviewed here in app review and you need to request page public access for your app for it to be able to import content from Facebook or if this is uh, not an option for you or if you want to make the plugin work right now and you don't want to wait after Facebook to review your app you click settings scroll down to the bottom of the settings and search for C user cookie value and excess cookie value and here you need to enter the cookie values from your Facebook account that is logged into uh, Facebook right now so for this click on Facebook hit F12 on your keyboard and go to the application menu here go to cookies select Facebook and here you will see excess cookie copy its value so let's go ahead and copy this and paste it in the XS uh, field here go back and select C user copy it and similarly input the C user field here now we can go ahead and save settings and the plugin will use cookie authentication authentication now instead of app authentication so this is a more direct method to get content from Facebook and you will not need to submit your app for review for the page public access however if you want to use the app to getting posts I recommend that you submit your app and get the page public access uh, privilege and it, it will be able also to import content using the API so now let's run importing in the plugin click select action and run this rule now okay so importing it is running right now we should see soon posts published to our WordPress site so if we go to the front end of my, my page here yet nothing is published but if we keep refreshing there should be similar posts appearing soon so here it is the Facebook posts that appear here on my site so these are the latest posts that I published here on my Facebook site and they will be appearing also here so if we click on a post so duplicate images can be removed if you remove the featured image that is appearing on your site or remove the image from the plugin but I will be showing you later how to do this okay so the green tick appeared and the posts are imported to our WordPress site which uh, were on Facebook initially okay so keep in mind you should use the f uh, cookie authentication method if you uh, don't have the page public access 
privilege for your API, for your Facebook API. Okay, now let's continue and I will show you how to use the advanced features of importing and in the second half of this video I will be showing you how exactly to automatically post from WordPress to your Facebook page. But now let me show you some advanced features of importing here in this dashboard. Okay, so for this let's click settings here and here you will see generated post title. This is a short code. Here you can change the template of the titles of the posts that the plugin will generate. So if you write here Facebook post and this will generate posts with this template. All will have Facebook posts at their beginning and here the title of the post from Facebook. Here you will be able to use also shortcodes. These are the shortcodes supported by the title part of the plugin. Similarly, you can edit the content. Here are the shortcodes supported by the content. Remember last posted item and continue search from it. If you want to remember to make the plugin remember from where it uh, imported uh, content the last time on the Facebook page and uh, it should continue from there on, then you should check this checkbox. Otherwise, the plugin will check only the latest content on the Facebook page each time it gets content from it. So imagine that you have the Facebook page and you get you check posts from the latest, from the top each time. This is the um, way if you check uncheck this checkbox. But if you check this, imagine you have the page, you get top posts, then you remember that last time I run or I checked the page, I, rem I was in uh, this place. And the next time you continue, you go from there on and check the next post. And so on each time the plugin runs, this is when this checkbox is checked. Disable automatic excerpt generation if you don't want the plugin to create excerpts and to leave and you want to leave WordPress to do this, you can check this checkbox. Set post original date if you want to set the date that uh, the published post on Facebook has to the post that will, will be generated on WordPress, check this checkbox. Strip images from content. This is the checkbox that I suggested to be checked if your team displays featured images and also the image is duplicate. So check the strip images from content and it will remove the featured image uh, from the content and leave only the WordPress image. Strip title from content. This will allow the title to be stripped from content if it is containing, if the uh, content con uh, contains the title. Remove WP default post category. So WordPress adds by default the uncategorized category. This can be removed by this checkbox. Skip posts that don't contain at least a URL in its in their content. So uh, if the post don't contain a URL in their content, then this uh, checkbox will prevent this post to be posted. Facebook post type to skip. You can skip these post types from be posted. When keywords are found, add text to generated posts. So if the plugin finds a keyword in the content of the imported Facebook post, it will add automatically a category. So if you want to set uh, election, for example, and set uh, this like this. So election and create an arrow like this with equals and greater sign and add the tag that should be set. So this should be the tag textual slug from WordPress which is similar. This is a tag in this example. To set multiple similar rules and separate them by comma. Similar way for categories required word list, banned word list, limit word, the title work on. Uh, so these are 
features to prevent posts from being posted to filter them. So require at least set a list of words of comma separated words that are required for the plugin to post content. If they are not found in the content, they will not be posted. So ban word list, set a word list that if they are found in the content of posts, the post will not be posted. Limit title word count. This will make the plugin limit the title length around regex and content. If you know regex, then this is a great feature for you. It will be able to search and replace for content in the uh, post and replace it with your own content by setting replace matches from regex settings field. Generated post format, you can set the post format that you wish to create, assign, assign categories to it. Don't forget you can select multiple categories here by holding down the control button on your keyboard and clicking multiple categories. Auto add categories, if you want to auto add categories from imported post title. Auto create categories parent ID, if you want to set a parent category ID for posts that are automatically created, you can do this. Auto add tags, similar like categories, additional post tags, you can set a comma separated list of post tags that will be added to the post. Enable comments, ping back, track back, set custom fields, you can set custom fields to the generated posts if you use this format so custom field name custom field name the similar arrow as i sp as i told you before which is equals and greater sign and the custom field value so this is how you set custom fields for post and the custom field value field can hold also this short code similar to post content uh, you can uh, set also multiple similar rules if you separate them by commas. Similar for postcast taxonomies, the same format will be used here, but uh, separate multiple uh, rules by semicolon. Auto get featured image if you want to set featured image for posts. Default featured image list if the uh, Facebook posts don't contain featured images, you can set a featured image list here which will be set for these posts without images attach screenshot to all generated posts if you want to set a screenshot to generated posts it, but this will work only if you have phantom gs installed on your server import comments append comments to the post content instead of uh, posting them as real comments for video posts do not show post image Custom shortcode creator, you can create custom shortcodes and set it uh, in the and use it in the generated post content. You can use uh, these tools and tips to generate regex expressions and get the some parts of the post content and use it as a shortcode. But this is advanced feature, you should check this help file for details. Default titer, title for post without text. If the plugin imports posts without text, like images or something similar, you can set a default title for this post. These are the cookie values that we checked earlier. Timeout between Facebook page requests. If you are using the cookie method, then you should leave this at 2000 because this symbolizes uh, two seconds because this is in milliseconds. And this is the timeout the plugin should wait between two down page requests that it makes using these cookies. This will allow the plugin to not get uh, banned when it searches for a uh, post from Facebook. And you can set a short rule description which will uh, be appearing here in the next to the ID of the rule. So let's set this to test and save settings. And if we save settings, uh, this question mark appears with the description I set there and this will allow you to easily identify rules. Okay, so these are the basic settings for importing content from Facebook. Let's go also to main settings plugin menu and here we will see some more features of the plugin. So you will see here the app ID and secret that will be used for getting content from Facebook. You can also set your access token if you have one, but this is optional. Also a secondary pair of 
API credentials if you want to use this for only for the publishing part to Facebook. But this is also optional. If you don't enter anything here, the plugin will use these API credentials also for importing and for posting to Facebook. You can set also C user and access cookie values globally. And in this case, you will not be required to set them separately in each rule settings. So you can use these uh, fields to set it. Facebook API version to use. You can set a specific API version or use a default uh, settings that the plugin sets. Enable app review mode. You can check this if you want to allow developers and uh, uh, Facebook support technicians to log into your site and check the Facebook plugin for uh, getting your app review done. You should check this. Do not check for duplicate posts. If you want the plugin to allow posting of duplicate posts on your site, you should check this, but I don't recommend checking this unless you are knowing what you are doing. Do not check generated posts in rule settings. If you have many, many posts and the plugin loads the Facebook to post menu really, really slowly, then you should check this checkbox. Limit return post count to a maximum import value per, per rule. If you want to uh, limit the query post count to maximum import value to the respective rule, you can check this checkbox. This should not influence uh, on the importing if you use the cookie method. This should influence only the API method. Show extended item information meta box in post. Google Translator API key if you want to use a... Uh, uh, Google Translator official API key instead of the free version that the plugin uses, you should, you should enter uh, API key here. If you are using classic editor, then this meta box will have some additional info on generated posts by the plugin. Enable logging, enable detail logging. These two checkboxes enable the logging that will be showing up in the activity and logging section here. So here you will see some errors that the plugin uh, could generate system info, rules that are currently running, restore plugin default settings, and delete all posts generated by this plugin. Here we can see an uh, error that popped up because I did not use in my previous test the cookie method and my Facebook app did not have the page public content access feature. So this is the error you will get if you don't have the page public access feature in the plugin and you are not having uh, some cookie values added to the plugin settings. But this will not be showing if you have a cookie value in the plugin settings added. You can also automatically clear logs every once in a while, while disable logging of uh, loading of Facebook related scripts. You can check this to disable uh, loading of Facebook scripts. This is useful if you only import content to your site uh, or only if you are posting content to Facebook and you don't have any Facebook like buttons on your site, then this can be checked. Timeout for rerunning, how long the plugin should run uh, in seconds before it is forced to stop. Date format for shortcodes, short you can set the date format for shortcodes that the plugin uses, you can check more formats here. Default username if none found. This is the default username that will be set for generated posts if no username, usable username is found. Custom post source post metadata. This is an advanced feature and it will set the post source uh, metadata for generated posts to a custom value that you can set here. You, if you want to use proxies to get content from Facebook, you can do it here you can set a, face, a proxy address like this. So IP address or uh, URL and its port. Also, you will be able to set a password like this. You can also send rule summary in email to this email address. When default WordPress post type for Facebook post type, you can set also this here. Okay, now we can 
set up posting restrictions, minimum title workout, maximum title workout, minimum content workout, maximum content workout, banned word list, required word list, do not, do not import duplicate title posts, skip posts that do not have images, Facebook post type to skip, and skip older posts than this date. You can set posting restrictions and if the imported content does not meet these restrictions then the content will be skipped and not imported. Facebook pixel code inclusion. If you want to include your pixel code from Facebook you can do it here. Copy images from content locally. Do not copy featured image locally. So if you want to copy all images from content locally to your site you can check this checkbox. If you don't want to copy images from uh, locally to your site and want to show also featured images remotely, you can check this checkbox. Do not uh, create featured images for video posts. This is self-explanatory. Strip featured images from generated post content. This is another feature that you can check if you want to strip featured images from posts to not show duplicate posts. If you want, don't want to remove all images like shown in the Facebook to post menu. Featured image resize sizes. If you want to enable shortest API to uh, shorten your links and you can also earn an affiliate income from this. So each click that people will make on your links that will generate some money for you. You can use this and add your API key here. Link generated post titles to source article. If you want to link content to source articles directly, so people when click on posts generated by this plugin on your main page of your site, they will not go to your posts, but they will go to Facebook posts directly. Do not link images from posts to Facebook. If you no, don't want to link images from, fa uh, from the generated post content to Facebook, you can check this checkbox. Do not add links to imported link post types. So if you import Facebook link post types, then this will skip the appending of links to the content. Do not link hashtags from post to Facebook. Strip links from generated post content. Auto generate post title max word count. So if you want to limit the maximum word count of post titles, you can do it here. You can also try to fix HTML tags if there are some issues with HTML that the in post that the plugin generate. Do not convert in uh, content in code encodings. If you import content from other languages which use special characters, you can check this checkbox. When keyboard found add text to generated post, similar as I already showed you. Strip HTML from final content by ID by class. Shorten imported URLs using Bitly. Add your Bitly token here or shorten also exported links from uh, that are posted to Facebook using check this checkbox. Shorten imported URLs using SafeLink Converter. Similar feature. Automatically translate content to these languages or using Google Translate. Source article language. If you have a uh, article for example in French you should select the here French and translate it to whatever language you prefer. Spin text using word synonyms if you want to spin the imported content you should use best spinner word they are or spin rewriter for this. Also the plugin offers these built-in methods for free. Use PhantomJS to generate screenshots. Use Puppeteer to generate screenshots. PhantomJS path on server page screenshot size. So if you have Phantom GS or Puppeteer installed on your server, you can check this to enable the items show screenshot feature and it will make a screenshot of the Facebook page. Open graph meta tags options. You can add open, open, open uh, graph meta tags to your Facebook page. So you should add to your Facebook page ID here. Uh, enable open graph meta tags in generated posts, open graph default image, input your Facebook app ID for OG tags. So if you have other plugin that generates OG tags, open graph tags for your page, you, should, you can uncheck this checkbox. Okay, you can also use a random sentence shortcode in the generated posts content here in the Facebook to post menu. And you can uh, input here a list of uh, sentences one on each line 
the sentences can have these short codes. You can define values for these short codes uh, uh, here. So these will have values separated by semicolon. And the short code will be replaced with a value by uh, random. And the random sentence will be selected from this list. Also, custom HTML, you can, you can use the custom HTML shortcode to set values to them and use it in the generated post content for Facebook to post many. Also, you will have affiliate keyword replacer tool. Search for a keyword in your imported post content, replace it with another keyword and even add a link to it which might contain your affiliate links. Also, there are some WordPress shortcodes here which will list uh, content imported by the plugin. So FBOmatic list posts and FBOmatic display posts are two shortcodes that you can use to list content that the plugin imported. Okay, so I must show you the tips and tricks menu now, which uh, shows some stuff that I recommend when using the plugin and all it remains is showing you the post to Facebook. So I will be showing you now how to post your content to Facebook automatically using this plugin. So I already have so I already have uh, my uh, Facebook app set up. I will be not needing now anything else. All I have to do is click here to log into my Facebook developer API and follow the instructions that the plugin provides here. So let's select the app that I already created that I have already added in the plugin menu in the main settings. So if you remember, I already added my uh, API info here. Okay, now I will have to go in and click on my test app after the Facebook app is fully loaded. <clears throat> it seems that the Facebook developers API console is also loading very slowly since they changed their uh, UI. Okay, now click on the app that we have and uh, you can ignore this for now. Now we should follow the instructions that the plugin provides here. <clears throat> we should set the app domain settings field to the domain of the site we are working on. So for this, select the settings, basic. And scroll down. And here in the app domains, paste the content that you copied from here. Okay, now in the settings page in Facebook, set privacy policy URL also. So set the privacy policy URL to a similar link. This should be a link that exists on your site and contains your privacy policy page. Okay, now let's check what the plugin tells us. In the app settings in Facebook, go to Facebook login settings and set the valid OAuth redirect URIs to this value. So let's copy this. Go here. Don't forget to save settings here that we changed so far. So click save settings. <clears throat> so it seems that only valid URLs are accepted here, so click save. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add a product here because we will need to add the Facebook login product here in the sidebar. For this, let's click add product, ignore this pop-up, and set, click set up for Facebook login here. After you click this, select web here, www, enter the site URL you are using, the plugin on, this can be the strict site URL, click save, continue, and from here on, 
we can click settings on the Facebook login and you will see valid or out redirect URI. So here you should paste the URL that the plugin provided here. So you copy this, paste it here and don't forget always to save settings. So I clicked save settings and the settings are now saved. Okay. Now all I have to do is log into Facebook by clicking this button. So if everything works correctly, then a similar screen will appear for you and click continue. Select the pages where you wish to get some uh, to publish your content. So I publish to my Facebook page here directly. Click next. And we can click done here and ignore everything else. Now you are linked. Okay. And now we should go back to the plugin. Let's log in once again. Because we might require a login if we wish to log in to our site. And here it is. The plugin is authenticated once again. And the Code Revolution page is appearing here in the drop down of page selections where I wish to automatically post using the plugin. Also, I will be able to post to groups, but for this, I should enter the group ID here. Okay. Okay, so I selected now the Facebook page here. Okay, now let me show you a quick example on how to submit your post to Facebook because I know that this video is pretty long right now. And for this, select the page where you wish to submit your content. And all you have to do is basically save settings here. So after you saved settings, we should go and create a test post by clicking post, add new. And here we can create something that we wish to be published to our Facebook page. So Facebook test post. And all I have to do is click here publish. So the post is published. Now let's see our Facebook page here. This is the latest post that it has published here. All I have to do is click a refresh. Facebook modern interface load time is very, very bad. And yeah, it is <coughs> loading really slow. So the post is not yet published, but we can wait a bit for it to be published. Until then, we can check the front page of our site. And here is the test post that we created. And we can check by refreshing the Facebook page once again. So once again, the nasty load times of the Facebook. And here it is, Facebook test post leading to the post that we just created. So here it is. It was automatically posted by the plugin. And this is the test post that we created. Okay, so now let me go ahead and show you some more stuff of the post to Facebook menu. So you can delay posting by an amount of seconds. So if you want to delay posting uh, by 60 seconds or by a larger period of time, you can do it here. Use a sync posting method. If you use the classic editor, this checkbox will be useful because the classic editor uses a posting method that waits for the Facebook page to the post to be posted on your Facebook page. And the post in WordPress is not published until it is not finished posting to Facebook. So if you check this checkbox, you can post the post on uh, WordPress without waiting for the Facebook post to be published. Here you can select the pages and groups where you wish to post the content. 
you can also post to a group ID. Click here if you want to get your group ID. Facebook post message template. You can set here the template that will be posted to Facebook. These are short codes. You can change the short codes or even add static content. These are the short codes that are supported. Link Facebook post to <coughs> first link in post content. If you want to link the Facebook post to the first link that is found in the post content, check this checkbox. Create photo posts when possible instead of status updates. You can check this checkbox to create photo posts in instead of Facebook wall uh, status updates. Maximum post count time interval and maximum post count time uh, maximum post count per time interval and time interval. So if you set here 60 minutes, then the plugin will. Uh, post a maximum of five posts for example in 60 minutes so if you want to post at maximum 10 posts in 60 minutes you can set it here disable auto posting of posts pages custom post types always allow publishing of manual posts if you want to allow publishing of manual posts disable auto posting of categories you can click here to see the categories list that you have on your site disable auto posting of selected tags you can add a comma separated list of tags target countries target regions cities minimum age these are facebook post additional info that will be posted to facebook include uh, the post message link title description featured image and name this should be checked always and it uh, if you uncheck these checkboxes the post sent to facebook will not contain any of this info that you uncheck post also videos found in posts post only video posts maximum number of videos at once try uploading uh, local videos youtube videos vimeo videos daily motion videos facebook videos twitch videos these videos can be embedded in the post content that you publish and facebook will have the fbiomatic plugin will try to also upload these videos to facebook to your page if you check this checkbox and configure the plugin afterwards also you can use a variable content shortcode which uh, will be able to be used in the Facebook post message template and you can set a content and the occurrence rate for this. Okay, so this is the full functionality of the plugin. It is really extensive. So basically it will be able to import content from Facebook and to automatically post your WordPress post to the Facebook pages you control. So yeah. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Until next time, have a nice day. Please subscribe to this channel for more similar tutorial, video, tutorial videos. This is all. Bye-bye.